Hello everyone. Now welcome to BR Max class. In today's class, we are going to do these three problems. You observe what is this question? Which of the following functions are strictly decreasing on this interval? Here they are given four functions. Na? Which of the following functions are strictly decreasing on this given interval? And you observe the next question. This function is strictly decreasing on which interval? Which of these intervals this function is strictly decreasing? And prove that this function is strictly decreasing and strictly increasing on particular intervals. These are the problems we are going to do in today's class. Before going to start this video, please drop a like for this video. Without much delay, let's begin the class. You observe this question. Which of the following functions are strictly decreasing? on open interval 0, comma pi by 2. We know that when a function is strictly increasing on this interval, then its derivative is strictly less than 0 when x belongs to this interval. So, you observe here, they given 4 functions. I will differentiate all these 4 functions. Which function derivative is strictly less than 0 in this interval, that functions are strictly decreasing functions on this interval. You take the given function as f of x. Let f of x equal to cos x. Now you differentiate this. Derivative of f of x is f dash of x. Derivative of cos x. We know that derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Okay. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Now you just think that this derivative in this interval positive or negative. You observe this sin x sin x in first quadrant open interval 0 comma pi by 2 means first quadrant sin x in first quadrant positive clear so this expression is positive in open interval 0 comma pi by 2 when i multiply positive thing with a minus then this whole thing will become negative it can be understood easily that minus sin x is negative in this interval open interval 0 comma pi by 2 Clearly, it can be understood that f dash of x is less than 0 for all x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi by 2. As the derivative of this function is strictly less than 0 in this interval, I can say that given function is strictly decreasing on given interval. Therefore, f of x is strictly decreasing on open interval 0 comma pi by 2. See here, this is strictly decreasing. You don't write like this in examination. You please write strictly decreasing. Now, I'll check that this function is strictly decreasing on this interval or not. First, I'll take given function as f of x. I take in given function as f of x. Now, I'll differentiate this with respect to x. Derivative of f of x is f dash of x. Derivative of cos 2x, we know chain rule differentiation. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Derivative of cos 2x is minus sin 2x into derivative of 2x. Derivative of 2x is 2. All these things we learn in chain rule differentiation. So, what you got? You got that f dash of x is minus 2 into sin 2x. What is this? This is derivative of given function. Now, I need to check that in open interval 0 comma pi by 2, this function is strictly less than 0 or not. The only problem we have to understand this here, here 2x is there. This is not x. This is 2x. So, what I'll do here, if x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi by 2, because they are asking to check the strictly decreasing function or not in this interval. So, I take in that x belongs to this interval. You multiply this interval with 2. 2 into 0 is 0 comma 2 into pi by 2 that is pi okay so if x is if x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi by 2 2x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi open interval 0 comma pi means this 2x lies in first quadrant as well as in second quadrant when 2x is in first quadrant or second quadrant sin 2x is positive because sin x positive in first quadrant and second quadrant i hope you are understanding if 2x is in first quadrant or second quadrant then sin 2x is positive why because sin x is positive in first quadrant and second quadrant so when 2x belongs to this interval sin 2x is positive as sin 2x is positive when we multiply positive number with a negative number this whole thing will become negative it can be understood easily f dash of x is less than 0 
for all x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi by 2. As f dash of x is strictly less than 0 for all x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi by 2, I can say that f of x is strictly decreasing on open interval 0 comma pi by 2. Actually what they are asking in the question, which of the following functions are strictly decreasing? You see, you see here, this first function is strictly decreasing on given interval. Second function also, I got that strictly decreasing on given interval. Now, I'll check this function is strictly decreasing on given interval or not. How to check? You just differentiate this function. Its derivative is strictly less than 0 in this interval. Then I can say that this function is strictly decreasing function on the given interval. First, I'll take given function as f of x. You see here, given function, I taken it as f of x. I'll differentiate it. Derivative of f of x is f dash of x. Derivative of cos 3x is what? Derivative of cos 3x is minus sin 3x into derivative of 3x is 3. So, all these things we learn in chain rule differentiation. f dash of x is minus 3 into sin 3x. Now, I need to check this derivative is less than 0 or greater than 0 when x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi by 2. If x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi by 2, then what do you know about 3x? 3x belongs to which interval? See, multiply this with uh, 3, what you will get? Uh, 3 into 0 is uh, 0 comma 3 into pi by 2 is 3 pi by 2. When x is in this interval, 3x is in this interval. In this interval, 0 to 3 pi by 2 means 0 to 270 degrees. First quadrant is there, second quadrant is there, third quadrant is also there. You, you know that when 3x is in first quadrant and second quadrant, this expression is positive. When this expression is positive, if you multiply with a negative expression, then this total expression will become negative. At the same time, you can understand that f dash of x is for all 3x belongs to pi comma 3 pi by 2. What you identified, f dash of x is less greater than 0 as well as less than 0. When this is happening in a particular interval, that means when x is in this interval, its derivative is negative as well as positive also possible. In this case, we say that this function is neither strictly increasing nor strictly decreasing. Therefore, f of x is neither strictly increasing nor strictly decreasing on open interval 0 comma pi by 2. Now, I need to check this fourth function. This function is strictly decreasing or not in this interval. First, you take a given function as f of x. Given function is tan x. I take, I consider that tan x as f of x. You differentiate this f dash of x equal to derivative of tan x is what? Derivative of tan x is secant square x. We need to check that its derivative is less than 0 or greater than 0 when x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi by 2. Here, this is secant square x. Now, secant square x can be written as secant x whole square. It can be understood easily that x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi by 2 means x is in, x is in first quadrant. In first quadrant, secant x is positive. So, positive whole square is there. Na? So, this expression is clearly positive when x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi by 2. Secant square x is greater than 0 for all x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi by 2. What is secant square x? Secant square x is f dash of x. f dash of x is greater than 0 for all x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi by 2. If f dash of x is strictly greater than 0, then we say that given function is strictly increasing function. Therefore, f of x is strictly increasing on open interval 0 comma pi by 2. Actually, in this question, what they are asking? They are asking that which of the following functions strictly decreasing? You see, this is strictly decreasing. This is strictly decreasing. This is neither strictly increasing nor strictly decreasing. This is strictly increasing. Which of the following functions are strictly decreasing means this a and b are strictly decreasing functions on this interval. Therefore, therefore cos x comma cos 2x are strictly decreasing on open interval 0 comma pi by 2. You observe this question on which of the following intervals the given function is strictly decreasing. So, what I'll do first, I'll differentiate this. I'll check that its derivative is strictly less than 0 on which interval. On which interval given function derivative is strictly less than 0? On that interval given function is strictly decreasing function. Given function is f of x equal to x power 100 plus sin x minus 1. You differentiate it f dash of x derivative of 
x power 100 is 100 into x power 99 plus derivative of sin x is cos x minus derivative of 1 is 0. So what is f dash of x? f dash of x is 100 into x power 99 plus cos x. Now you need to check that is this function is strictly less than 0 on this interval. You observe when x belongs to open interval 0 comma 1. In this all x values are positive. You observe x power 99 is positive or not when x belongs to this interval. Clearly x power 99 is positive. So 100 into x power 99 is also positive. So here 100 into x power 99 is positive. 100 into x power 99 is positive when x belongs to this interval. At the same time you can observe here x belongs to open interval 0 comma 1 means here this is in radian measure. 1 radian means approximately 57 degrees. So x belongs to open interval 0 comma 1 means x belongs to open interval 0 comma 57 degrees. That means x is in first quadrant. In first quadrant cos x is positive. So here I will write cos x is greater than 0. You try to understand here this is positive, this is positive. If we add two positive numbers again you will get a positive. So 100 into x power 99 plus cos x is greater than 0. What is this? This is f dash of x. f dash of x is greater than 0 for all x belongs to open interval 0 comma 1. Here I got that f dash of x is strictly greater than 0. That means in this interval the function is strictly increasing not strictly decreasing. On this interval this function is not strictly decreasing. So I will write here f of x is strictly increasing on open interval 0 comma 1. Now I will check uh, on this interval, on this interval this derivative is less than 0 or not. You observe derivative of given function is this. Now in this interval I need to check its derivative is less than 0 or greater than 0. When x is in this interval that means when x is in second quadrant you observe 100 into x power 99. 100 into x power 99 is strictly greater than 0. Because this is all positive numbers. When all these are positive numbers, in place of x, if I write this number and if I simplify, I will get 100 into x power 99 is positive. I hope you are understanding. This is easy. And you see here, as x is in second quadrant, here cos x is there. What do you know about cos x in second quadrant? In second quadrant, cos x is negative. So, what the point now? The, if I add these two, I will get positive or negative. Actually, no clarity here. But I know that when x is in this interval, this expression cos x is always in between closed interval minus 1 comma 1. But when I substitute this value, this value is always greater than this value when x is open interval pi by 2 comma pi. 100 into x power 99 is greater than cos x when x belongs to this interval. You observe this expression is positive, this is negative, this value is greater than cos x. So, you can understand that when I add these two things, you will get greater than 0 for all x belongs to open interval pi by 2 comma pi. Therefore, f of x is strictly increasing on open interval pi by 2 comma pi. If x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi by 2, in this interval 100 into x power 99 is greater than 0 and cos x, cos x is greater than 0. So when I add these two things, obviously as both are positive, when I add these two things, you will get f dash of x is greater than 0. As this is positive, this is also positive. When I add these two things, I will get positive quantity only. So f dash of x is greater than 0 for all x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi by 2. Therefore, f dash of x is strictly greater than 0 for all x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi by 2. What happening from this what we can say? We can say that f of x is strictly increasing on open interval 0 comma pi by 2. But in the question what they are asking? In the question they are asking that on which of the following intervals the function is strictly decreasing. In this interval function is strictly decreasing or in this interval or in this interval. I checked that in all these three intervals the function is strictly increasing not strictly decreasing. So what option I can choose here? None of the above. None of these three intervals the function is strictly decreasing. Prove that the function given by f of x equal to log of cos x is strictly increasing, strictly decreasing. So what I will do? First I will take the given function and I will calculate its derivative. Given function is 
given function f of x is log of cos x. Differentiate it f dash of x. What is the derivative of f of x? You imagine this part as x. It looks like log x. The derivative of log x is 1 by x. So derivative of log of cos x is 1 by cos x into derivative of cos x. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. That equal to minus sin x by cos x. Sin x by cos x is what? Sin x by cos x is tan x. So f dash of x I calculated. f dash of x is minus tan x. Now you check that on this interval f dash of x is greater than 0 or less than 0. If x belongs to open interval 0 comma pi by 2 that means x is in first quadrant. When x is in first quadrant what do you know about tan x? Tan x is greater than 0. But here minus tan x is there. For a positive number, tan x is positive. No? For a positive number, if you multiply with a negative sign, then it will become negative. So, what you can write here, minus tan x is less than 0. Minus tan x is what? Minus tan x is f dash of x. f dash of x is less than 0 when x belongs to this interval. So, what they are asking, prove that this function is strictly decreasing on this interval. Yes, on this interval, f dash of x is strictly less than 0. So, I can say that f of x is strictly decreasing on open interval 0 comma pi by 2. Now I need to prove that this function is strictly increasing on this interval. If x belongs to open interval pi by 2 comma pi that means x is in second quadrant. If x is in this interval then what about tan x? It is less than 0 greater than 0 like that you check. This is second quadrant. Na? In second quadrant tan x is negative. In second quadrant tan x is negative tan x is negative. No? That negative quantity if I multiply with negative, negative into negative will become positive. So minus tan x is greater than 0. What is minus tan x? Minus tan x is f dash of x. So f dash of x is greater than 0. Therefore, f dash of x is greater than 0 for all x belongs to open interval pi by 2 comma pi. What you can say here? Therefore, f dash of x is strictly greater than 0. No? Therefore, f of x is strictly increasing on open interval pi by 2 comma pi. I hope you understand today's class. If you like this video, please drop a like for this video and share this video with your friends. In case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.